Hello guys, Brad here again with another fragrance review. Today I want to look at my third and final fragrance sample from the house of Six Sense Parfums, and this one's called 087. Now, this is the one that I was most interested in when I entered Stephen of Red Adolescence's channel giveaway, and uh, so I finally decided to try this one. Um, so thanks again to Stephen and Joseph of Six Sense Parfums for uh, sending me these samples. Once again, um, now this one has a lot of interesting notes in it. Uh, we have Amori Hiba Wood, Sugi Pine Needles, Green Cypress Resin, Engine Motor Oil Accord, Icy Salt Water Accord, Nutmeg, Rosemary, and Hinoki Cedarwood. And the little blurb here on the website, traditional woody notes of serene Japanese spas, and an industrial infusion of motor oil trigger memories of cross-country road trips. Now, I don't have any experience with Japanese spas, but uh, let me see if I can break this one down for you here. I do get like this light, transparent, woody smell, and uh, it could very well be Japanese woods. Um, it does have a unique woodiness to it, sort of an airy, transparent, woodiness that might evoke Japanese forests or Japanese spas. You do get that motor oil cord as well. Uh, so if you've ever smelled Fahrenheit or are a fan of Fahrenheit, you might be familiar with the use of motor oil type of cords in fragrances. This one though is sort of like a, a Fahrenheit au fraiche kind of a thing. You know, it's like it's motor oil, but it's not real dense and heavy. It's just very airy and transparent as the woods are here as well and uh i guess that's about it for this one light airy transparent woods with a touch of motor oil uh, i think this one would be a good office scent i think this one's pretty easy to pull off it probably is my favorite of the three the most masculine in my opinion um and uh, you know for fan of woody scents specifically like uh transparent woody type fragrances like molecule one if you like your Japanese houses, like Kenzo, Isimiyaki, if you like uh, Fahrenheit, but are looking for something with more of an eau fraiche or transparent light feel to it, this one is probably one that you want to get your nose on and see what you think. I thought it was pretty good. Um, probably won't rush out and buy a bottle. It, it didn't blow me away or anything, but it's just that nice everyday wear type fragrance with a unique spin to it and a nice unique feel to it so uh let's get into my final scores here smell i'm gonna give it six and a half out of ten i thought it smelled pretty nice um i haven't really worn it to work yet or anything so i'm not sure if people are gonna pick up on it because it does seem very light and transparent um i thought it was nice but uh certainly not you know mind-blowing or anything projection longevity i'm gonna probably save maybe three to five hours because it does have a sort of a lightness to it even after you first apply it. So maybe six and a half out of ten for projection longevity. Versatility, I'll say seven and a half out of ten. I think you could wear this one year round. Maybe better for a little bit warmer weather because I think this one could easily um, be a little bit too light for colder weather. Uniqueness, eight and a half out of ten. I think that's where this really shines. The house in general uh, seems to uh, do a good job of uh, coming up with fragrances that are a little bit different from your run-of-the-mill Macy's Sephora designers. This one here, like I said, it, it almost be like a, a new fresh version of Fahrenheit. Um, a nice, you know, spin on like Molecule One, something like that. Uh, if you like Japanese woods, might not be something that you've smelled too often before. Uh, it goes away from the traditional pine, cedarwood, sandalwood type woodiness as well. 30 milliliter bottles are $63 at the website. Limited edition as well. I think it's limited to 250 bottles. So act now if you're interested uh, while supplies last. Overall for me, 6.5 out of 10. Not a bad fragrance. Uh, light, airy, transparent woods with a nice, interesting motor oil cord that's a bit reminiscent of Fahrenheit to my nose. But not nearly as potent like an eau fraiche Fahrenheit type thing going on here. So that's my thoughts on 087. Check it out if you get a chance. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.